One of the world's most successful recording artists, Celine Dion, will usher in the new millennium with a final concert and then walk away from it all for a few years to be with her family and hopefully start a new one. She's released a new CD to leave fans something to remember her by. It's called All The Way and spans a decade's worth of her best music. Because And there are seven new songs, including her first release, That's the Way It Is, which she'll perform, by the way, for us a little later on. Celine Dion, great to see you. Welcome back. Good morning. Let me start by saying the last time you sat in that chair was about one year ago, and it was just a couple of weeks after your appearance here that you got some very disturbing news concerning Renee, your husband. And I just want to say he is in the studio this morning, and Renee, it's wonderful to see you Hi, as honey. well. It really is. <laughs> Tell me, he was diagnosed with cancer. That's right. And it's been an awfully difficult year. It's been difficult for the whole family, especially for Renee, of course. But um, it's amazing how when you hear that word, because, you know, when you hear cancer, the word cancer, it's never for you. It's never part of your, of your vocabulary. It always happens to somebody else. It's always else. for the others, you yeah. know, because you're in show business, you travel the world, you have success. That's not for you. And when it hits you, you just, it's like, it makes you realize that life is so precious. We used to plan our lives, we used to plan our future. In six months, the release of the album, in a year and a half, we'll be touring, and then we'll do the French album, and then we always forgotten the days, the, the, the present day. Right. And that's the most important day. Well, Renee has said, and, and I hate talking about you as if you're not here, Renee, because you certainly are here, but Renee said that these days, and the prognosis is very good, but yeah. that he lives his life three months at a time. I'm very impressed of him because I've been married to my manager for five years and that's why I can't wait to get married to my husband. What he's shown through this period of time, so much strength. And at the same time, a weakness that I didn't know about him. A vulnerability? Yes, exactly. Um, strong he is. Fanta he went through the, the chemo and the radiation. We went through this together and the family and friends, they were with him and it was amazing. It, he, he showed so much strength. But for the first time in my life, I, took, I canceled a lot of shows and I, I had two months off and I stayed at home with him. It was the fir my first time staying at home. And for the first time in my life, he took my face in his hands and he looked at me almost like such a serious look like what I'm about to say to you is very very serious I mean it and he told me I need you and when he told me that I knew I was his favorite singer in the whole world <laughs> but for him to tell me that I can make a difference and for a human being to be needed and to make a difference is everything in the world. You, you um, have some really lovely words that you write to Renee in the back of your, your new CD pamphlet here. Would you mind reading them to me? No, absolutely. It's right at the end there. Can you see those? Of course. Dear Renee, when we choose to get married five years ago, we promised before men and God to help each other and to be totally committed and devoted through the good and bad times, in sickness and in health. The past year and its sadness and worries made me realize the power of those vows. My love, I'm promising again that I will always be there for you, no matter what. I love you more each day and forever. What are your plans? How are you going to spend the time off? Thanks. <laughs> Believe me, I'm just wondering if I'm going to have enough two years to do everything I want to do. What do you want to do? I want to meet life. I would like to have a family. I would love to have, would try to have a, a child. Um, the two months we spent home, I cooked for him. I was becoming a woman. I was becoming his wife. And I was doing normal things. But for me, they were fantastic things. I've never done those. I've never ironed a shirt before. I've never did my bed or, 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 or do a hamburger steak or... It's stupid things, but, but normal things. But you're also things a performer, and, and he's the manager of a performer. Aren't you going to wake up, do you think, six months down the road and say, i got to get out on the road again? I love life too much, and it's full of surprises. We, I love boating. We love golfing together, cooking, watching movies, go for a picnic. If I get pregnant, that's going to take a lot of my time. 
Um, that still is quite a priority for you, isn't it? Absolutely. Um, and believe me, I'm, I'm, I'm going to miss that. I'm going to miss singing. I'm not, I'm not taking a break because I'm fed up. I'm taking, I'm taking a break because just before I get ready to go on stage and I feel like, oh, not, enough, not, enough, not tonight. Because you got to be honest with the people. You, you're letting them know that you love what you're doing, but I don't want to feel a second that I don't feel like going on stage. Have you heard from some fans about these plans? Have they, you know, through the internet or, or through fan mail, have they talked about your hiatus? What do they think about it? About retirement, about yeah. taking a break? Do you call um, it retirement or? No, no, not retirement because it's different. Retirement is like it's over, basta bye -bye, and bye-bye. Yeah. It's just a, a vacation for me. It's just a break. Actually, to me, it's not an end of anything. It's the beginning of something. Um, but some of the fans came to me almost crying and say, I can't believe it, but it touched me and I'm, I'm happy. But I wanted to, um, I didn't want to just close the door and say, ciao, see ya, I'm, I'm out of here. No, they've been there for me. They've been supporting me for so many years and they've been giving me a lot of, a lot of joy and a lot of love. But my way to say thank you and just say, I'll see you soon, I hope, it's to do an album. And I wanted to do a new album. I didn't only want to do a Greatest Hits album. So that's why I've done, in a way, a double thing, a double gift, a, a double album. Some of the great new, old songs. New songs and greatest songs. And, of yeah. course, you'll say goodbye with an amazing concert on New Year's Eve in Montreal. Another, I understand, one more concert in Las Vegas after that. And, and we are thrilled that one of your last performances will be right here on the Today Show coming up in our last half hour. It'd be my pleasure. Selena, it's always good to see you. Renee, as I said, Thank great you. to see you in good health and all the best to you. Thank you so much. You. It's 749. We're back right after these messages. If I forgive you all that